We have two rapporteurs in our Medibox Plateau. So first of all, I would like to welcome you, uh, Mr. Illis and Ms. Renstrom. Uh, thank you for joining us in our Medibox. Uh, so on the occasion of 32nd uh, plenary session of the Congress of the Council of Europe, your report has just adopted, voted in the plenary session, which is called From Reception to Integration, uh, the role of the local and regional authorities facing migration. What we understood that it's uh, on the integration policies of uh, the migrants, but maybe you will also mention the refugee crisis. So first of all, I would like to start with Ms. Randström. What's the main objective of this report? It is actually the long-term perspective of migration, but how do we include them into our societies? Because it is the local and regional um, municipals that will take on board all those new uh, members that will come in. And how do we do it in a proper way? Uh, do we have the right kind of resources? Do we have the right kind of support from the government and the internationally? And this is a very big question because we know that there are many people coming in and we need to take them on board in a, in a good way. And Mr. Ellis, uh, uh, in the report what we see is that uh, you underline uh, that integration policies should start from the reception of the refugees or let's say migrants. So in what way this is important? What would you like to say about that? I think it's very important that, that we, we consider the people as, uh, as our friends, uh, as, as newcomers and, and and uh, uh, we consider them that we, we, we try to integrate to our society or we, we, we have to work together to build up a, uh, our society and uh, we have to explain it uh, to, the, to this uh, newcomers and, and we know that the integration process is, is a long term uh, period but as as one of the one of our mates, uh, our uh, co congress colleagues said that we we when we we have a have a baby, it takes a lot of time to 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 uh, take care of uh, him or her, and it it takes thirty years or more, and uh, and certainly we we have to. We have to work together uh, with newcomers uh, for a long time, but but it 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 would be successful. It will be successful, and and, and it's my it's our task. Uh, so, for the successful integration, we should think about the long-term policies, which is important. And uh, it's also interesting that you mentioned in the report that integration. We should understand. Your, uh, we should also talk about our understanding on integration because it's not the one way that we want refugees and migrants to integrate themselves to society so it's a two-way process what you say could you please clarify this uh, position uh, a bit more miss redstrom it is because if you see in history society has always changed traditions have changed uh, culture have changed and I mean, that's a natural uh, movement uh, in life uh, and if we think that they, they coming in need to be like us, then we have the wrong approach about this because it will change. And this is, this is the future in reality. And as politicians, we have to be very clear about this and not fool people to say that if we don't let them in, things will stay the same as it always has passed because it will not. And, and this is the interesting thing about, about life, that, that life changes. And I would also like to say something about the taking in refugees, that we need to have an early approach because if, if we're going to succeed with the long-term integration, we need to start as soon as they get into the countries, especially the children when it comes to school and education. So this is why it is so important that we start with an early integration approach already when the asylum seekers is coming into, into Europe. That's why maybe you also emphasize and underline, yeah. even in the title of your report that you say, yeah. integration will start from reception mm -hmm until uh, their yeah, whole life in the whole yeah, society. Yeah. So what would you like to say about uh, specifically the role of the local and regional authorities in the process of integration of refugees and migrants? Yes, uh, um, refugees uh, meet uh, the local people uh, 
certainly, and 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 uh, the local and regional governments uh, try to 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 give uh, the first aid and and the first uh, service to the to the refugees, and therefore it's very important that 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 the local governments. Uh, knows that what what is uh, our task and 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 it's also important that that we that uh, to working together with with uh, uh, international uh, organizations and also government bodies and also ngos and uh, uh, other people but beside that, we also see that local authorities and regional authorities are facing with some difficulties when they tackle with the refugee and migrants uh, issues. So uh, could you please give some examples uh, on that and how can, uh, for example, Council of Europe Congress will help them to overcome these kind of difficulties and problems? Uh, practically, we do have a toolkit in the Congress so that yeah. you can go into and look at good practices that are outside in different kind of regions because there are many good good ways and good work being done. Uh, but actually, I mean, this is we need a cooperation between the different kind of levels from from international, from Europe, from from uh, our national governments and the local and the regional level uh, because. I think sometimes the national level and the local level is not actually working together. They're more like working towards each other and not against each other. Because we know, as, many, as um, the mayors and the politicians at local level, that we need to take care of the people, we need to take them into our societies, and we need people. Uh, and then when our national government sometimes don't understand this, they don't give the right support, the right resources, they don't have the right regulations, this will make our work much harder. And it will, this is different in different member states. You can't say that this is the way we should do it, but we need to have a good discussion between the, the, the national, all these kind of levels, otherwise we will not succeed in doing it through good work. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Thanks. Thank you.